Mike, you got to go to the Witcher panel, which I am so excited about. The Witcher is one of my favorite book series, and I didn't get to go, so I want to hear all about it. But the trailer did release, and I got to see that, so let's mm -hmm. talk about that briefly. What did you think? I thought it looked incredible. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's based off of, and, and this was confirmed, The Last Wish, but also a few books down the road, too. It looks like it's almost like a 20-year time span. So I know on Twitter it was talked about, do you have any idea if this is going to be like more of an anthology or is it a serial with flashbacks? Was there anything that you heard about that? Yeah, the panel? So, so I have a little bit of insight because I did the panel and then they also held some like group interviews afterwards. Yeah. So I, I got to talk to um, Lauren Schmidt Hisrich, the, yeah. um, the showrunner, and then also the actors who play um, Siri, who's Freya Allen, yeah. and Anya Chalatra, who plays um, Yennefer. Um, and we, we talked about, yeah, we talked about like, I was, I haven't read the books. I really I've played then. the games, yeah. obviously. And we talked about kind of where they're drawing from. And, and some of the interesting stuff is like, yeah, it's primarily, so so the showrunner read The Last Wish, which I think mm -hmm. is a lot of people's favorite. It's like the collection of short it, stories. Yeah, it it's, really is. It's yeah. considered the, the first book in the series, I guess. Um, and she said she read that. Netflix specifically asked her to adapt um, that. And she, she said a lot of people assumed that you would start with the saga, which I, I guess is like kind of the main stories. Yeah, because there's two books of short stories and then there's the serialized like saga, essentially. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she said that would probably lend itself to binging, but she what she wanted to do was she loved the world building in The yeah. Last Wish. And so she wanted to like establish the characters, kind of show their origin stories. And uh, unlike the games, which are definitely, and I, I believe the books, which are like focused on Geralt, yeah. Um, it, it's kind of going to be like the a lot more even, I think, among Yennefer, Siri, and, and Geralt. Like, we're going to learn a lot more about the other characters, especially Yennefer. Yeah, because it seemed like there was a lot of Yennefer's background, too, which isn't really explored in the books too much uh, either, so that's cool. And, yeah, it was just crazy to me because I was, I was watching the trailer. I was like, oh, my God, but wait, this is like when Siri should be 15 years old, and this is before Siri was born. I've seen yeah. a lot of stuff like that, and that's where I was like, when? What well, Anya, is the Anya, who plays Yennefer, said something really weird um, oh, yeah? when I talked to her. She she said that this, um, it, it, I'm not sure if she, it would be weird if she was talking beyond season one, but mm. I'm not sure because of what she said. She said that the story follows Yennefer from 14 to 77 years old. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So it's more than 20 years. That's right. A well, it, it, yeah. Maybe, but it also makes me think maybe because we're learning, we saw in the trailer, like young Yennefer right. is like kind of disfigured and clearly is not like the, the yeah. incredible sorceress who we know. Um, but then I was thinking maybe that's like way in the past from the main story. And it's, it would like, be, a, yeah. it's like a Melisandre situation where she's actually hella old, but she's, you know, got glamours and stuff. Yeah, so since you haven't read the books, that's the exact case with her. Oh, really? That's actually what oh. she does. She puts a spell on herself to make her look more attractive, and that's a normal thing with sorceresses okay. in the books. So you I exactly kinda knew, I kind of okay. knew yeah. that, I think. And another thing that, that we didn't get to see in that trailer, which we saw in the panel, when the panel started, yeah. um, they, they played like a little like 30 second teaser, and uh, there was a glimpse of uh, an iconic scene that may involve Geralt in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the one that was from the uh, the games then? I don't know. Yeah? It's just okay. it just seemed like that's like a funny meme. Yeah, and that's there's great. clearly a scene in the show where Geralt takes a bath, and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. That's all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, going back to Yennefer though, I know yeah. you saw a clip of Yennefer. Can you talk about what that clip was like? Oh yeah. So 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 um, in addition to the teaser in the trailer, there was some exclusive footage that they showed during the panel, um, and and. One of the weirder ones was um, it was Yennefer sitting on a beach, yeah, talking to a dead baby. Yeah, it was like okay. a corpse of an infant, and she mm. was just kind of monologuing at it. Um, and it was like a, it was an extremely like bitter, dark scene where she was like, actually, uh, life sucks, yeah, family sucks, friends suck, being a girl sucks, and so uh, you really dodged a bullet here by dying as a baby, and it's. Yeah, I mean, that sounds a lot of Yennefer, hard, though. It I was mean, hard to watch. So the other thing with Yennefer as sorceresses, they can't have children, and mm. she wants to have a kid, and she can't. So that's like her entire uh, arc, essentially, is trying to... I wonder if that'll be the same in the, in the show. Uh, if they're based off the books, I imagine yeah, it will be. That's a know. really big thing for her character. It's anyway, like a huge part of it. At, at the end, she just like kind of buries the kid in the sand. And yeah. That, yeah, I was like, sad. whoa, dude. Um, there was another exclusive clip with um, with Siri where she's kind of walking through the woods and it's like all spooky or whatever. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Oh, is it Dru Is this the clip that we saw in the trailer that had the druids? Because I think it was druids. Are it wasn't druids? elves. I believe so. Because in, in the trailer, the voiceover the... said elves. Okay, right. When it, it showed them. So I was like, are these elves? I wasn't sure. So in the short story, when Geralt first meets Siri, it's uh -huh. all druids. It's not elves. But I didn't. I know that in the trailer it said elves. Yeah. But I imagine if it's based on the short story, it should be druids that those actually. I don't know. Are. Well, well, one of but, the other things yeah. that the showrunner said was she implied that the characters are all going to start separate, and this is going to yeah. be. At some point, they'll come together and meet. Which yeah, and that's sense. also how the books work too. Actually, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so yeah, yeah so tell, she, she's tell walking through yeah. the woods. She kind of sees this like golden light, um, and and it seems like it almost puts her in this trance. And then, the, oh yeah, so she has visions in the book. Yeah, when she's younger. Yeah. So the elves or the druids or whatever kind of snap her out of it, and they they brandish these spears at her, and they yeah they they have her come with them, and she says she's looking for someone, someone named I think it was. Dara, who's, okay. who's not a character, I googled it, and is yeah. not a character from the books or the game, so it's not, I mean, they're changing the names, they've changed, um, Dandelion is in it, but they, they changed his they, name to Yaskir or something. Really? Okay, yeah, I was going to ask about him, yeah, too, because he keep, wasn't in the trailer, mm -mm, so they talked about him. Yet, but, but yeah, they, we, we talked about him during the interviews afterward, yeah. um, and they have that character, but they've changed his name. Because he's a, he's a really major character in the books, actually. Yeah, but uh, he's so, yeah. he like a narrator? Uh, he's a, uh, what is it? The, uh, someone who travels with the guitar and well, sings. he's he's the a bard or oh, right, whatever. He's a bard. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. know why I can come up with that. But but the, as far as like the narrative purpose that he serves. Mm, no, he's just not really. He's more like comic relief a lot of times. And I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's he's like a comic relief. It's like Geralt and him travel together a lot, and they yeah, always run so, into each so, other. Yeah, so so one thing that the showrunner talked about with us is the dynamic between Geralt and Dandelion. So it yeah. sounds like it'll probably be similar to the source okay. material. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I was just surprised not to see him in the trailer. So mm -hmm. I'll be I'm glad to hear that he's a big part of it still. Yeah. Because, yeah, he's a fun character. Um, uh, we, we talked about um, Geralt and Roach as well. I love Roach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he names every horse Roach. Right, yeah, they're um, all Roach. So it's like there's different horses, but they're all Roach. So, yeah, yeah. so his horse in the show, um, the showrunner told us is like his only connection to humanity because he, he has trouble connecting with people, obviously. Yeah. Um, he's really bitter in that trailer. It's like, is, you know, life only monsters and money to you? Like that line, he's like, yeah. what else does it have? Doesn't have to be anything. So that's all life is to you? Monsters and money. It's all it needs to be. So, so his horse is like, like uh, the showrunner told us a story where um, for one of the episodes she wrote, she wrote this like long, she called it a soliloquy. Okay. <laughs> between where, where um, Henry Cavill is just talking to Roach. Yeah. And every time somebody read a draft um, who wasn't familiar with The Witcher, they said, why the hell is this guy talking to his horse so much? Like, it's weird. And every time that happened, she made it longer instead. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So I, it sounds like she really gets it. Like, that sounds awesome. I'm also glad that she's spiteful in that way. Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, and you saw a third clip too, right? Yeah, there was a, another clip um, that I, I believe, I feel bad that I haven't read the Last Wish, and I'm, I'm going to go read Dude, it now. It's, it's really worth reading. Um, but, I highly recommend it. Judging by some of the reactions from other people that I saw, it seems like it was kind of a familiar scene. Like people kind of recognized it was. It was like this big fight in this banquet. Well, hall. Okay, yeah, because yeah, that's okay. So that's, you can I was doing a trailer breakdown. Yeah, I was doing a trailer breakdown, and that's in the trailer. Yeah, if it's what I was thinking. Yeah, so what is that? And I was like, oh, this has to be. So that's actually Siri's parents mm. that are in that. And it's a banquet where it's like uh, the law of surprise. Someone's supposed to get. Uh, the child that like are supposed to be able to marry this mm -hmm. fifteen year, or this bride who's like sixteen because you know it's medieval it's times. Kind of iffy, yeah. yeah, yeah. But medieval times, like it was that sort of age range. But someone was going to marry her, and the mom doesn't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that he's actually like a cat monster person thing. Yeah, I was real confused so, by that. Was that actually was it the cat monster thing too? It was the, some kind of creature. Okay, cool. So that's exactly what it was. Being then. a cat or something. So else, yeah, but... everyone freaks out about them. They start fighting for it not to happen. Yeah. And then uh, well, the, the it turns out that the the girl has royal blood, like this crazy royal blood. So she just explodes out with it. And uh, that's like happens in the trailer too, which is why what? I can say that. Okay, well that did not happen in the clip. Oh, that it's I in saw. the trailer. Like you see very briefly in the so, trailer. So it, the clip in the clip, the queen who seems like a badass. Yeah. She like grabs a sword out and like <laughs> kicks a guy. And is like stop! Like yell! Like she's fighting. Yeah. And she's yelling at people. Um, and the action looks cool. I don't know. It, it's. I kind of found myself wishing that it was like a little less stylized. Like it was a okay. lot of like the camera spinning around and. Henry Cavill doing these fancy moves, and, and uh, Cavill emphasized that it's always him. He like he learned all these scenes. That's awesome. It's not a stunt double. That's cool. That's him. It's really cool. But although the camera style, I think I agree with you. I think I, that's I, usually what they do when they want to cut around the fact that people aren't good. I think that's oh, usually I mean, how I feel I, about this. I mean, stuff. yeah. I mean, it, it also could be a stylistic choice. Yeah, I found maybe. myself wishing that it was a little bit more um, like Game of Thrones, kind of like grounded. Was it combat. your last wish while you're? 
thinking about. Not okay, my sorry. last <laughs> wish. It was maybe my middle wish. Okay. Yeah. Was, I, I was just found myself wishing that it was kind of more like realistic, grounded yeah, combat. Yeah. But we'll see. That was just like a tiny. I mean, that's the thing with him as the Witcher, though, is he is supposed to be that extra good. You know, I mean, it's like you play the games. Oh, yeah. Like, he's, I want to like, see him. I want to see him abusing signs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, like, yeah. Stun and fire, stun, fire, like whatever. Right, and yeah, it looked like at the end of the trailer he was using the drugs that they concoct for themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, he drank cool. he drank hella potions to fight yeah. that spider, and I was like, I relate to this. Yeah, I played yeah, that game exactly. But, but speaking of the game, um, I of course asked her, is uh, the showrunner, um, is this going to be based only on the books, or are you drawing anything from the games as well? The games act as sequels to the books, of course. Right. Yeah. Um, and she said no. Uh, you know, we're not drawing from the, this is based on the books. The games are adaptations of the books. We're not doing an adaptation of an adaptation. Yeah. And so somebody else actually uh, asked her, um, eat, you know, have you thought about the long term, the extreme long term? What if this goes for 10 seasons and you do everything from the books, you adapt everything? Will you ever then move on to start adapting the games? Because chronologically, that comes next. And yeah. she said, no. She said, huh. even in, she said, this is the exact quote. In the extreme, even in the extreme long vision, we will not adapt the games. All right. I mean, the games are really good too. I know. So, I, mean, I, I thought it was. But... I thought it was especially when we're talking about like normally when you bring up something like super long term like yeah. that with, with somebody. They're like maybe I don't know. Right. They yeah. go well. We can't predict the future. And right. she said, you know, I find it hard to. She said. She said she you know finds it kind of mind blowing to try to think beyond season one of The Witcher. Right. She said if you ask. She said if you ask her uh, like what would happen in season seven she has thoughts she has ideas sure um, but nothing concrete so i found it really kind of interesting that she's firm in you know we are not going to adapt the games yeah uh, that's interesting that she would choose that but mm -hmm. i guess like maybe they just want to come up with their own adaptation right so and i can see that who knows what will happen in the future yeah. and like you said it's not entirely the last wish it's not like a one one adaptation yeah they're drawing stuff from many different stories right yeah it looked like i was seeing stuff from the second series of short stories and also stuff from book two in the saga where i which i was really confused by when i saw that in the trailer if i'm right mm -hmm. i mean there was like a uh, banquet that they were at but i was just like is that, yeah. Could that be it? I and, wasn't sure. And I don't mind, you know, it, it's an adaptation. So so yeah. use what works, add to it where you need to. I'm yeah. totally fine with that as long as it's good, right? Right, yeah, as long as it's good. And it looks great. Like, it looks I, good. I'm genuinely really excited. About it. I think this is the thing I'm the most excited about out of Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, man, that's so that sounds amazing. I'm excited for you. You got to go to that. And yeah, that you might cool. actually check out The Last Wish. It's cool. I'm definitely uh, going to read it now. Yeah, it's um, very well worth it. We don't know when this is coming out, but I will say that she said on Twitter it's coming soon okay the only official word has been like by the end of 2019 or sometimes I think they've said fall 2019 yeah um, but somebody asked her on Twitter right after the panel she went on Twitter and she's just like ask me anything right and and was answering a bunch of questions before she came and, and did the interviews um, and she said all I can say is it's coming soon which sounds closer than fall yeah that does sound close what if, like, what if it's next month you know what if it's 2021 and turn that soon what if it came out while we were shooting this video right it's right now and it's just like this is all late <laughs> cancel the rest of comic-con i'm gonna go check Netflix. surprise I'm it just refreshing netflix until yeah then. i really think it's gonna be fantastic it looks amazing so yeah. um yeah thanks everyone for watching this uh the, the sh it sounds amazing based off of mike and i'm, I'm hopeful i mean like yeah. let me let me couch it in a little like skepticism just just in case it's bad, sure, I don't want yeah. I don't want uh, Ryan to yell at me later about oh you said <laughs> you said ne Witcher was gonna be good okay so maybe you know we never know but really if you haven't read the Last Wish I highly recommend it just start there it's amazing and yeah can't wait and check out Gamespot Universe for more on Comic Con news later guys.